All right, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, I've been waiting forever for Tragic to open some Mad Magazine cards. Well, here they are, at long last. I'm gonna open up these packs here. This is it, this is the new normal. I open non-sport cards now, that's what it is. So we got stickers and bubblegum. You can actually even send in for a Mad sticker album. It makes collecting fun, it says. Alfred E. Newman here, he wouldn't lead us astray, would he? Uh, unfortunately, these are from 1983. I don't think you're going to be able to get that sticker album. And I'm not going to eat the gum either, but we are here to check this out. So, growing up in the 80s, I had, I had some hand-me-down Mad Magazine from the 70s. Oh, look. Well, unfortunately, this one's ruined. Yeah, the, the Mad Magazines that I had from the 70s was how I learned about... Movies that I wasn't allowed to watch, like Animal House and, uh, you know, Dog Day Afternoon and stuff. So, and being a spoof, uh, I kind of got the gist of those kind of movies and things, and just uh, uh, the comics like shaped my humor. And here we are today, checking this out. Keep your city clean, curb your thoughts with your dirty little thoughts there. So, these are stickers, trouble stickers. So, you, the idea was that it would be. Kind of a funny saying, well, relatively anyway, up for debate. And you would peel this off, go stick it on like a mailbox or something, and then someone would come by later and read it and be like, hey, that's kind of rude. And that's uh, that's Mad Magazine's philosophy in a nutshell, I think. So uh, they're pretty old. Uh, there's no, no more stick to it. If I really wanted to do this, I'd probably have to put some tape on it. But... I still think they're cool. Um, if I was really um, ambitious, I might actually collect all the puzzles for this and have an Alfred E. Newman puzzle um, to put together as like a poster. Okay, this is the collector sticker. So this would have been you put them all in series, and you probably get some kind of big picture uh, cartoon. Yeah, look, here's another one that would go with that, right? So perfect lighting some dynamite we're doing something with that so peel it up all right see uh, we gave aid like the right, about five years ago see and, and the humor of this was already lame even at the time so now some of that stuff is just lost to history we gave now get off our back see that kind of makes sense we gave blood we gave a donation sure there you go, Mad Magazine, folks. The humor is obtuse. And honestly, I find it kind of clever, some of it. So let's see if we can get something that's actually funny here. Gosh, this gum is uh, pretty fossilized. There it is. In memory of the 37 college students who died cramming into this phone booth. Yep. Some, some college level humor from leftover from like the 50s essentially and then uh, you could probably make a comic strip out of that somehow drawing a blank I suppose yep I, I don't know the humor does kind of escape me at some point here collect all the Fleer Mad stickers and get a sticker album it makes collecting fun they, they've said that before I want you <laughs> Look before you flush, you may have dropped your wallet. Sure enough, that's something that uh, you would definitely want to check for. Ushering in an era. Whew, I don't know. I'm not feeling that one there. Okay. Coffee, tea, or Cuba, and count your change. Some of our checkout clerks are in business for themselves, right? That's still true today. All right, I'm hoping for something like actually funny here. Come on, don't fail me. I really hyped up Mad Magazine here. Oh my god. That's what happens when almost 40 years go by. And you've got some super lows in there. Gosh, unfortunately, that one's not going to make it. Help, I'm being held captive under this sticker by a crazed gnat. Ugh, terrible. The U U official U.S. government taxpayer's car. So that might be kind of funny to put that on someone's car. And there's Alfred. 
This car is a lemon, and this movie is a bomb. So, pe like, kids running around the city just putting stickers on people's car. Cars, that must have been a hoot. Not gonna lie, it probably would have been me if I had my hands on these back then. Alright, one pack left. You can go on about your day. This sticker suggested for mature audiences only. This sticker was not here yesterday. That's, that's kind of clever. I'm going to give you that one. It's five to one that when you get a summer job, your mother will come into the store every day to see how you're doing. That That's probably true, but it's really, unfortunately, not very funny. Keep this screen closed. And I sleep on a board for that feeling of health. Yeah. All right, so this is probably the winner right here. The Alfred E. Newman, Uncle Sam classic. That's a keeper for me. Save fuel, share your body heat. And I am a mad reader. All right, there you go. I can see why these didn't uh, really take off at the time. The Mad Magazine humor is already dumb. This did not edify it in any way, shape, or form. Well, there you go. Uh, I'll be back with more of this non-sport nonsense because I got a bunch of it. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a thumbs up and check out my other videos. Thank you very much.